I am Dr. Christopher Collady, and some people tell me that I've, I'm a certain age, but I, I don't believe them yet. Well, I had this, I had the fall in January of 2022, and uh, I was taken to hospital the same day, and it was recommended to me by the surgeon that the best treatment was surgery. I met Dr. Christopher Kolade towards the end of January 2022. He fell at home and um, broke his hip. Uh, it was quite a nasty injury he had and um, the worst of his kind, to be honest, if you ask me. He took it in good faith after I told him that he had to have surgery and he went for surgery. Surgery was successful. Uh, we had to use a dynamic um, hip screw to hold these fractures together and he did remarkably well. And within a few days the surgery was done. Well, uh, in many ways surgery is not something that you really jump at doing. But because of the confidence that was inspired in me by the way the surgeon spoke to me, the way other people treated me, I thought it would not be a difficult thing to go through this surgery. He actually did so well and is presently ambulating a uh, year down the line and uh, uh, he's, he walked into my office and I was so elated to see him uh, smiling and uh, walking on his feet again. Um, his story is a success story and I'm extremely elated about how he fared under our care. Since then I've been recovering and trying to get my mobility back in normal, uh, normal ways. And I'm bound to say that if everything has gone absolutely well. Um, thinking of specifics, uh, I, I was convinced from the way that the surgeon and the nursing staff spoke to me that they were experienced people and that they knew exactly what they were doing. And so, you know, for me as a patient, this confidence, I think, helped to accelerate the healing process. And I believe that my, uh, my, my relationship with those who were looking after me contributed greatly to the ease with which things eventually went. And I'm bound to say that the surgery itself was well handled and then we had to go into physiotherapy. He started having physiotherapy um, about two days after and um, he did so well. He was ambulating and kept progressing um, in his uh, recovery and um, the physiotherapy as usual um, are always spot on and uh, they got him to working very well again. I came home from hospital Again, at the beginning, I had to use the mechanical walker, which had wheels and which enabled me to move without putting any pressure on my limbs. But that has eased gradually. And now I'm using just a walking stick, which enables me to climb and descend steps. And uh, this is, it, the, the progress has been really very impressive. And I think that, uh, uh, I am bound to say that if I was going to have this experience at this age, I couldn't have had it in a better situation than the Evercare situation. Though he had uh, a bit of um, shortening, he still ended up uh, being able to carry himself. And uh, for a non uh, that is quite an impressive feat. And I'm glad that he's still with us to celebrates his um, recovery so far. The way I've been treated, the way I've been handled, especially the way I've been spoken to by the doctors and by the nursing staff at Evercare, has made me feel that this, this is a special kind of relationship. And I'm very, very grateful, very, very grateful to the doctors, nursing staff, everybody who has dealt with me in Evercare. I've felt like somebody that was being cared for, and that's very important. So thank you very much. I, I really am delighted by the experience.